What was that? Don't. What was it? Nope. Was it tomato? What was it? Was it yummy? Nope. No, what was it? <laughs> tomato. Uh -huh. Nice. What are you getting now? Oh. Big. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, it's day sixty-seven. Seven. I think. Think. <laughs> um, I've not bothered putting any makeup on or anything today. Boys are still pretty rough. Um, with this cold. Oh, oh, bottle. A bottle. Um, I'm Ow. feeling a lot better, but I'm Ow. still. Ow. I'm a bit Ow. congested in Ow. my head. Ow. The kitchen's carnage because I just made everybody pancakes for dinner. That's what you do when you're ill. Um, oh, hello. Quick question, my computer's in like a one bit. Okay, I'll be in there in a minute, okay? Um, which I just like put on Facebook okay. is like ninja level when you're Ouch. happy making pancakes for everybody else Ouch. and then you've still got a juice Ouch. for yourself Ouch. that's ninja level I feel Ouch. pretty badass right now no. I keep forgetting he's copying everything Ouch. I say Ouch. Um, so I get better go sort out this computer yeah, so I've now got to make some blinking juice Ouch. juice no. <laughs> you'll sit down a good good idea right so yep so what's been happening in the last few days nope. so obviously because um i'm nearly into the 70 days oh oh poop um <laughs> the <laughs> things have been a bit more intense and having this cold has made everything a lot more intense my ear is so blocked what? um and... i'm still having depressed days which is surprising in a way because it's like I thought that would have been gone by now um but I keep having to tell myself I've been depressed not like every day for every minute but like my depression has been coming and going probably since I was like 14 and um so that's a long time uh maybe even before that I just didn't realize what it was I had mental health issues before that. My OCD, I think, showed up probably when I was about six, seven. Um, so that kind of like... Honey. Thanks, darling. So that kind of like, you know, shows how long that this, you know, my brain's been going on. And I was just saying to Matt, like, it's hard to imagine that you can be eating well not eating but you know filling your body with all this good stuff and cutting out everything that's bad and yet still have issues going on in your brain um obviously i feel better than what i did when i was eating junk food like i definitely feel better but it hasn't gone um which is frustrating and annoying um especially when i'm all up in my head um, and that always happens when I have to stay at home for long periods of time when the kids are ill now yesterday we went out because um, we don't celebrate birthdays but it was Jesse on on birthdays we sort of do like a happy family day that's what the kids call it um, and so we did go out yesterday but it was so wet and windy we ended up just going to like a little um, calf it was a new calf that's just opened um, and I had uh, like a smoothie type thing this is a smoothie but I just chose the berry one so it's just berries um, oh no 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 I don't want you to put that in your mouth you shouldn't be playing with that anyway um, I did actually take a juice I just fancy something different um, so I had the juice when I came back 
Now, I've been, since I've been ill, been absolutely terrible with juicing. Um, I've been having very, very little amounts of juice. Uh, first of all, it was because I just couldn't, like, I didn't need it. It felt like I didn't want it. Um, and then it got to, like, just being completely exhausted. Because, obviously, the boys are ill at night. So I am dealing with them at night times, and it's hard work. Um... So, yeah, so I've been knackered. I remember saying in a previous video about like having cups of tea. So I've had a few cups of tea um, with cashew milk, so I'm not bothered about that. But that does suppress your appetite, so that does mean that it's like being not so anxious to get the juice in. What the heck was that? Right, can you put that down? Um... I've also just felt like I needed something extra. So I've been, I mean, I've been having avocados pretty much every day, which is, you know, I guess I was kind of expecting that as I get towards the end, I'm going to need like a little bit more. Um, and so I've been mixing stuff with my avocados. And so I've been probably having just for the last like two days three days like about that much cucumber um and then a tomato occasionally as well um i've not i don't think it's affected my hunger because i've not been hungry really um but it has affected my like mentally like i keep thinking to myself yeah, like is this yeah, cheating like, I, should yeah, I feel does. guilty about this um especially because I've been calling you know what I'm doing um the 100 day juice feast well obviously on a juice feast you don't even have avocados or nuts um so you wouldn't have any nut milk um and so I, I I've still got this thing where I'm justifying it not just to the videos but to myself like, not just to you guys, I mean, <laughs> but to myself. Um, you know, like, I, I keep, now this is part of my OCD where it's like, I have to reinforce, um, I don't know if you've heard of Puro, so it's like a very much inside your brain, the OCD, rather than mm. manifesting outside in your environment, which is why my house is a tip and I don't... I care, but not, you know, it's not like the normal OCD that you see on TV. Um, and so maybe it's that, I don't know. But it's like I continually have to say to myself, justify why you have an avocado, why why are you going to have this half an avocado today? Oh, it's because I'm breastfeeding. And it's like I'm having to say it to myself as well, um, which is very tiring. <laughs> It's very tiring, um, and I need. I know I need them. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop having them. But then it like can make you feel like an imposter, and it's that imposter syndrome, which scares the crap out of me. It's probably the imposter syndrome which makes me not want to get my book out there because I'm scared. I'm scared that people are just gonna think what a fraud, you know? Oh dear, he just. Licked the brown sauce. <laughs> oh. He's laughing. He's not crying. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that brown sauce is made to be licked. Okay. No. Oh, gross. Uh, so anyway, what am I chatting about? Oh, Debbie. So imposter syndrome is Daddy. absolutely a way for your body to protect yourself. Absolutely, 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 because it keeps you in the fear and it keeps you safe, it keeps you out of the unknown. So, like, if I keep saying this to myself about, you know, the whole, you know, well, you're not really juicy, and you shouldn't even be calling it that, you should, you should, you need to tell people about this and you need to say about this being modified and blah, 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 and constantly justifying this stuff, it's... It's a, it's a great excuse to quit because it's tiring, it, uh, it's constant and it's tiring 
and it's a great excuse to quit. And now I'm coming up to 70 days. I feel like there's a, I've like lost that. Bus runner. Oh dear. Um, is it really? Yeah. You run me a bath? Yeah. Oh, you're lovely sometimes. Um, yeah, so it makes it makes it very tiring during the day. And it makes you think, I might as well quit. And as I'm coming up to 70 days, finally the addiction to actual junk food is gone. I, I do honestly believe that, you know, like, like the pancakes, like, um, you know, I'm seeing the kids eating crisps, maybe crisps are kids still. I mean, that's, that's a poly thing. That's, that runs deep within my family, so, you know, crisps might be, who knows. But the chocolate, the sweets, the cookies, I'm not bothered about. I'm really not bothered about anymore. So I'm thinking that maybe my body's actually getting scared about what's going to happen next. And, and I've, you know, I'm becoming very obsessed with food. Like, I can't, literally can't wait to try out all of these raw recipes and everything. Can't wait. Um, but that's like, who does that make me after this? And what does that mean about me? And maybe that's why this imposter thing is coming up so much because it's like, you know, it's actually like, wow, there's real changes happening and real change is going to have to happen. So you can't put that in there, darling. You can't put that in there, okay? His little, his little sauce for stuff. Right, I'm going to go off and get my dancing. Hopefully, bye. Say bye. Ha, 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 ha.